Hello everyone and welcome to Zen Within Me. Today's reading is going to be a general reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, so before I get started, I just want to let you guys know I'm having a sale on my uh, zenwithinme.com website. I have uh, lowered some of my prices for the month of December 29 as a happy holidays to you guys. So yes, my services are on sale. Not all of them, but some of them. And then I have a lot of specials that I put up for you guys, so please go and check that out. Okay, Aries, let's get into it. Guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Aries, sun, moon, rising. What does Aries need to know at this time, please? What messages do you have for Aries, sun, moon, rising? Please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, six of cups. Could be dealing with some children. Someone from your past. Could be an ex. General reading. Could be friends family member, anything like that. Okay, what other messages do we have for Aries? Okay, the Hierophant. Okay. Could be, um, let's see. Could be somebody from your past coming in to ask you to marry them. Could be an ex-husband coming back in. I'm also seeing it could be like a, a childhood friend that you maybe went to um, Catholic school or some kind of like private religious school with. Could be a mentor from the past also coming back in. Okay. So that's all that I have there. Let's see what we have from the Oracle cards. Okay, what messages do we have for Aries? There's trust with this person. You feel empowered with this person. Okay, we have Black Obsidian, the Shadow. So being that this person is from the past, it could be you have no idea what they've been up to, no idea what's been going on in their life. Music. You could have had, if you were in um, Catholic school or some religious school, a uh, music class together. Somehow uh, this mentor could be a teacher, music teacher. However music resonates with you. Could also be um, a child of your own or someone's child, like you have a sister, cousin, best friend, something like that, that their their child is doing maybe, um, being that it's the month of December, some, um, give me a second, I have it in my mind, just the words don't want to come out. Um, like when you go, like in the religious schools, they put on the play, they put on the musicals. So it could be something being involved with that. Okay. Last shuffle. Any other messages for Aries? Okay. Emotional healing. Okay. So this person from the past may have, may be inviting you to some kind of the, uh, musical. It could even be, uh, like, I'm, I don't know why I got a wonderful life popped into my head. Something that it doesn't even have to be at, like, a religious school. It could be some kind of, like, a, a, something that they're putting on at a church, okay? And the kids are performing. And, uh, you know, may be sentimental to you with the emotional healing here. Okay. So let's see. What other messages do we have for you? Do we have for Aries? Rabbit, recognize your significance, Archangel Gabriel. La 
uh, shuffle any other messages for Aries? Okay, thank you. Hedgehog. Be a magnet for light, love, and joy. Archangel Gabriel. That's two for Archangel Gabriel. Coming through with some messages for you there. Maintain self-worth and self-esteem. Archangels Mary, Gabriel, and Uriel. Okay, and with these messages here and the oracle cards that come through, it's a general reading, so there are so many different ways that this can go, so I'm trying to keep it uh, basic with what I say because it'll resonate with you in your life. If it does, you know where to apply it is what I'm trying to say, and if it doesn't, then it's fine. Okay, so what other messages do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising? Last shuffle, any messages for Aries? Okay, thank you. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. And you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Okay, so the new moon is significant to you here as far as timing may go. You may also be dealing with a Sagittarius or Cancer. And this is a timeless reading, so look up to see when is New Moon in Sagittarius and New Moon in Cancer. Because that may be relevant for you uh, as far as timing goes as well. Okay, so let's see. What initials do we have here for Aries to maybe see more about who this person is from the past? Okay. And if you're interested in an initial card reading, I'm going to be posting it up today on my zenwithemi.com website because sometimes people want to know the names. Like, oh, you know, um, you maybe get a prank call from an unknown number and you're like, oh, I want to know who that was. I wonder if it was this person. So you can purchase that reading for $5 to say, well, you know, just I want to know what are the initials so it can give you a better idea of who that may have been or um, whatever other questions you may have that requires initials to pinpoint somebody's name. Okay, so we have the letter B here. L. I don't know why Blake Lively comes through. U. Sometimes I pick up on messages for the celebrities. We have Blue. Blue Ivy. I think that's Beyonce's kid. A. F. And M. Okay, so I'm seeing flame, like old flame. So for some of you, this is an old flame. Could very well be, like I said, an ex-husband. Somebody that's maybe buff. I'm seeing flabby for others. Uh, male. Also, Bam. Uh, Bam. Oh, what was that guy's name? That that guy, um, that's, I think he was a skateboarder back in the day. Bam something. Um, if you're familiar with that, so maybe this person was a fan of that person, or maybe they know that person, or maybe it's for this person. You'd be surprised who watches readings, you know? There's a lot of uh, private YouTube channels out there for people that, don't want anyone to know that they're on there but we know you're there okay so that's all i have for you aries thank you so much for watching sharing liking and subscribing don't forget to check out my zenwithemi.com website peace and love i will see you in the next reading